Oh, wow, it's happening. Nigerian police have been deployed and they have declared war on the Fulani headsmen along the Abuja Kaduna Road. You know that the Abuja Kaduna Road is the new no go area, okay, in the country. That area is a new no go area because of all the things associated. Funny enough, they are Buhari's and Kingsmen, okay, Buhari's brothers and sisters. Let me just say brothers, I don't want to include sisters. So he knows them very well, they know themselves. So Buhari trying to lie to Nigerians. That's why he was very skeptical. He did not want to declare his own who they are. But remember Governor Samuel Oto? Yeah. He has said, ah, Buhari, you need to do more. Don't just tell us that uh, yeah, these people are now, bandits are now there is. But, you know, tell us, add the names. My ATL is one of them. But did I tell you that Buhari will not? You know why? He's the grand patron of my ATL. You are not aware. Oh, please investigate. Okay, find out. Buhari is their is, is their is their daddy. Okay, is their daddy in that right in that regard. What is the is the is the is their daddy? Okay, so whether you like it or not, Buhari and them they work together, they flex together. It's the same thing. It's the same people. Okay, and uh, we know of what has been happening that Kaduna Abuja Highway is not being easy or palatable. Please do not forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Thank you. Please have declared war on Fulani headsmen along the Abuja Kaduna Road. The Association of Fulani Headsmen in the country, Maiti Alakutaho, has alleged that police alongside the Abuja Kaduna Expressway are uh, arresting innocent Fulani headsmen, branding them as kidnappers and forcing them to pay huge amount of money as bail. The National Secretary of the group, Sali Hassan, made the allegation in a statement on Friday. The statement was titled, Abrupt Arrest and Criminal Extortion of Fulani Headsmen. According to him, innocent Fulani headers grazing cattle in villages alongside the highways have been abruptly arrested by the police in recent times, and they have had to cough out thousands of naira as bail. It read thus, Amutekun also arrested two Fulani headsmen for, for adopting fellow headsmen in Ondo. The spokesman said constitutionally, Bay is free, but for police personnel in Kotari Police Station, situation along the Abuja Kaduna Expressway, Bay is the highest bid now. Suspects are forced to either pay for their freedom or they will be tortured. The police personnel have been going about adopting our headers, branding them as headers or robbers, or forcing them to pay huge amounts of money and torturing them. Our headers who are undertaking their lawful venture have been victims of this abrupt arrest and demand for bail. Many relatives of the headers have been forcefully forced to bring out about 200,000 to 1.5 million naira as bail. Well, as bailed out for their for their relative from the hands of these devious police officers. This is unacceptable and we demand immediate action be taken by the federal government. While we already inform, informed the police headquarters of this happening, we felt it necessary to also let the world know in the view of the growing hate, stereotype and prejudice against our headers and the Fulani ethnic group in the country. The statement reads in part, Hassan urged the police hierarchies to calm down on the personnel allegedly involved in this act. They said, we have been branded and everywhere we go, we are being chased upon. In Ondo State, the Amutekon are chasing us as though we have committed a crime. We've asked the police to look at this. So what brought Amutekon into the whole mix? So you remember we brought you uh, up to speed that in um, Ondo State, uh, Muteko, you know, was able to rescue headers who were adopted by by other headers, uh, Fulani. Who were, so I don't understand these people on a more serious note. I don't understand them. Okay, I don't understand them. Your own bro the, the people that we adopted were two brothers of the same parents, two brothers. Okay, two. They are Fulani headsmen as well. They were adopted by Fulani. Okay, and they are brothers of the same parents. Okay, it was Amutekun that saved them when they were about to go and slaughter them. Amutekun saved them. So Amutekun has done wrong 
by going to save your brothers. This is very shocking. You know? Like seriously, they are still mentioning that Amutekun over there in the south is chasing their people. Can you believe this? But sadly, this is what is happening. Okay, this is what is going on. Said Amutekun is chasing their people. Amutekun is not allowing them to, you know, live peacefully or do whatever they want to do. Amutekun is chasing their people. Is doing this. Is doing that. Uh, I thought Amutekun was helping. Like seriously, I thought Amutekun was putting law and order in Ondo State. It's the same your people, okay, that have gone to the governor of Ondo State and have said to him. We will reveal all the, you know, evil ones among us. We will expose them. It's the same your people that did that. It's the same your people who has come out to say, you know, that uh, you know, it's the same your people. Yeah, I mean, exposing what others were doing. The same your people. So I don't understand why you have to ping somebody and label the person, you know, as the one who is, who is, who is uh, I mean, what did, for crying out loud and for goodness sake, Okay, what did you know? Uh, uh, what has Ondo State done in the whole misc in this whole matter? What has Ondo State done? Rather, rather than Ondo State governor saying enough is enough, you know, it was in Ondo State a, a very high chief, traditional leader, was adopted and killed by these same people. No word was said, not a word came from Garuba Shewu, not a word came from any of them, but immediately. They say, oh, uh, we don't want uh, this person again. Uh, we are tired then. We, we want them out. You heard Garu Bashewo. Uh, Kere Dolu has no constitutional right. How dare he says that um, uh, Fulanis should leave. He wants to uh, cause chaos in the country. Blah, blah, blah. But when these very people, you know, took the life of a very high chief, okay made the place very unsafe and people were scared and worried you know what is going to if high chief could be taking life we take like what was going to happen to you know common man and woman on the streets we didn't hear from you you pretended not to hear so when you look at it you begin to wonder is there not a cause is there not a reason for us to really be stand up to the truth and say the truth as it is is there not a cause is there not a reason Everybody keeps quiet and pretend that all is well. That's the, that's the worst part, especially those in politics that are, supposed to, that are supposed to be Muslims, Christians, that are supposed to be speaking out. But every one of them is silence. Leave us a comment. We'd love to hear from you. Please do not forget to like us, share, subscribe. God bless you. Have a good day. Bye for now. Bye.